Tease Monkey back with another video and back with a new microphone. So hopefully this sounds a hundred times better for you guys than my old setup. But today we're going to show you how to find Mighty Porgy. These are used in an attack food recipe that I particularly use myself. So this is the area you want to go to. There's a little enemy camp out here in the water. I've already cleaned all the enemies out to make this easier. And as you can see, by simply looking down in the water, we can find Mighty Porgy and Armored Porgy all over the place. I'm using the shock arrow method here and just shocking all of them just to show you guys. Um, there's a, a lot of them here. If you're coming here to collect them, I would not shoot them all like this because you do risk the chance of them despawning when you start swimming around to collect them. If you go too far away from a group of them, they will disappear and you will lose out on them. So you may just want to shock a couple groups in one direction, go pick those up, and then work your way to the other side. But So I'm going to jump into my Zora armor here to help me collect them faster. But instead of putting you guys through the little collection process, you could see that we popped many Porgy in this area. We'll go ahead and go on to the next area. But I do suggest you start here first because this one is probably the most concentrated in one little area of getting your porgy and then you can make the rounds to the other areas and by the time you get done with that if you still want more you can come back here and check on it and there's a good chance that some more have reappeared so let's head to the next area before we head to the next area though i just want to make sure you guys understand that there is a lot more porgy here than i actually showed you i just didn't want to take the time and make this an extra long video of me going and getting all of them so make sure you stay in this area and use your tracker to get a lot more than you're actually seeing in this video i'm just cutting this area a little bit short so we can move on you can also move in towards the cove towards land and you'll find some in that direction as well out in this area so give this area a good scouting out so you get the feel of exactly how many there are here when you come here on a fresh spawn with that we're going to head to the next area the next area we're going to go, if you're really trying to get as most as possible, is we're just going to head on over to the Lorraine Village here and just buy uh, a couple from the vendor here. If you've never been here, this vendor does have, I believe, three you can pick up real quick if you need that. So here we are at the Lorraine General Store, grabbing these fish from the vendor here. Um, take a quick look in the waters off to each side of this little area as well as there are a little couple schools of porgy out in the water here that you can fish up. And as always, always have that tracker set for the fish so that you can spot them as you're going around. Let's go ahead and zip on over to the next area. Next spot we're going to go to is going to be this little island out here in the water. Uh, what you're looking for here is just around the outskirts of the land. You'll find a couple groups of armored porgy and some mighty porgy out in this area as well. So we've landed here at the shrine. And as you're going to see, I'm going to speed it up just a little bit to get the video going. Um, just around this little island here, you will find some more schools of porgy. Some of them are a little bit further out like this group here. So we just did a little... Ravali Gale shot up in the air to get out there to them. We'll pick those up and then we're going to head back into the bank there to pick up another school that's around the land as well. We're swimming in. It should be right over here. We'll go ahead and zap these guys as well and uh, get ready to head out to our next area for fish. We're going to be shooting across over to Eventide Island. You can either take the little boat that's here if you want to take the long way. faster way to get there would be to just go ahead and warp over to the shrine if you've already completed that shrine. Otherwise, you will have to take that boat. So let's head on over to Eventide Island to pick up some more. We're here at Eventide Island, and all you're going to do here is just cruise around the coastline, and these porgy are going to be um, very close. You should be able to pick them up with your sensor and just look out into the water and you'll see them you know there's groups of two or three you occasionally as you work your way around the island here so you can see I'm just gonna jump to different spots on the island where these fish are in schools of course 
so you can have a look at the map where I'm shooting them from and just make your way completely around and then you'll hit that one spot that's out in the water there there's a pool out there with about four of them in that pool out there as well now we're coming up on that pool that I was just mentioning it's off to the east there you can see it on the map that's the pool that has about four fish in it as well so once you hit the ones right before it make your way on out there to that pool of fish grab those here and this is going to be the main lot of all the porgy you can continue going around the island and pick up a few more um, just depends on how many you really really want to get um, you could just end here and head on out to the next spot if you so choose the Shayota shrine is going to be our next spot to warp to for our fishing location here back inside the Lanaru Bay and we're going to spend a little bit of time here as there are several schools of fish out in this area the first spot we're going to go is this area indicated right there this is the area that you came to to do this shrine if you remember it if you did do this shrine where you had to fly around with your paraglider and do all that knock the rocks down so that the wind would blow through and you could fly around and activate that shrine so we're going to head out into the middle here there's also a bunch of crabs in this little spot that you can pick up as well that are about the equivalent of using porgy in your recipes so we'll grab those and there's going to be a nice little uh, school of porgy right out to the side here we'll pick those up once you pick those up um, scout around in the little pools on the outside of this area there are otterox that when you kill those they do drop fish as well and you may find a couple fish a little bit on the outskirts of this area after you scouted out this area the next area we'll be heading to is the Lanaru Bay we're going to be working our way through the bay along the coastline all the way back in through and around and this is going to be the last area on our little porgy fishing trip here once you've collected an, a bunch here they're not as good as some of the areas you have to make your way around the coastlines a lot of maybe some climbing here and there so you may find it kind of time consuming for what it's worth but that's the decision for you to make but i suggest you check it out at least once just so you can see how many fish there are in this area after you've cleaned out this area and you still want more head back to the area where we started the video out and see if those have spawned back for you yet and grab that large number of fish around that enemy camp there this is tease monkey we're going to end the video there guys kind of long one but hopefully it was informative for you hopefully you enjoyed the new mic hope the audio quality sounds a lot better and it's a lot more bearable to listen to this video was good for you smash that like button drop some comments below don't forget to subscribe we'd love to have you in the tease monkey clan it's by subscribing you get notified when my videos come out and also when i do my live streams which i do frequently through the week as well and like we always say on the live streams peace and chicken grease and i'll catch you guys in the next one And if you guys made it all the way through the video to the end, drop that 2-5 in the comments. As you know, that's our number we always throw up in the live streams for the hype. So drop a 2-5 if you made it to the end, and I'll see you later.